that's New York. We're in New York. We're in my favorite place on the planet. I feel like we're a long way from home. I've literally just landed like two hours ago. I got in my hotel room. I got changed. I freshened up and we're gonna go start exploring. This is so surreal. Like I don't think you understand. Tonight's agenda. I kind of want some pizza. Maybe Joe's pizza. But I want like a traditional New York style dinner. It's currently 8 p.m. It's literally one minute to eight. I kind of want to be back here for like 10 p.m. and have an early night so I can have an early start tomorrow. Jet lag is also kicking me in the ass right now but we're gonna power through and try and stay on New York time. Let's go explore. <laughs> we're in New York baby. I've made sure I'm fully wrapped up because I've heard New York this time of year is so cold so I've brought a lot of coats. I don't actually know what I've packed. I just know I've packed a lot of layers, a lot of things that I can layer. So ultimate comfort on this trip. Also this is so random but how New York is this? This was in the mini bar. Of course there's a bagel and cream cheese in the mini bar. Little pre-dinner snack. That is not a good bagel. One of the first things that I wanted to do while I was here is kind of dedicated to my dad. So while I was on my way here, my dad told me the origin of my name. It came from the movie Splash. I don't know whether anyone's seen it, but in the movie, when she comes out the water and meets the guy, he asks her what her name is and she sees the Madison Square Garden sign and then says Madison. My dad really likes the name after watching that movie, so I was actually named after a mermaid because <laughs> my dad told the story while I was on the plane like we was texting obviously I have to go and see the sign I'm gonna walk to Madison Square Garden I know my hotel is like in the vicinity anyway but I want to see the sign because that's what gave me my name and I love my name there she is one of my dreams is to go and watch someone live there I feel like it would be incredible Joe's pizza's on the map we're gonna go have our first slice of New York pizza together. Do you know how excited I am right now? I've noticed there's so many of these pizza places where you can get a pizza for like a dollar. I feel like we should have more of these in the UK, but this one's Ronnie's fresh pizza, but we want Joe's pizza. I will say, America has the best drinks ever. Look what we're walking into, like, that to me is New York. As expected, there's a huge queue outside which I am going to queue in. If you watched my Paris solo vlog, remember when I waited for that hot chocolate? I think I waited probably about 45 minutes to go and sit in Carrette and it was the best hot chocolate I've ever had in my life. So I'm putting the same faith in this pizza and I'm gonna wait. I've got nothing else to do. I'm on my own schedule, so we're gonna wait. The queue isn't as bad as I thought. It's been like 10 minutes and we're basically near the front. morning people I feel very well rested I slept in till eight o'clock which I don't think is bad considering in the UK eight nine ten eleven twelve it's one o'clock so I feel like I'm definitely on New York time now um but nothing opens till half ten and I'm kind of itching to go out like I don't really want to sit here until half 10 so what I think I'm going to do is I need to go and get an adapter I didn't bring one and my phone's on oh my gosh my phone's literally on its ass this is risky business as well because I forgot my purse so everything I buy I have to pay on Apple Pay and my phone's probably on like four percent so this is very risky I really need to go and buy an adapter and then I think I'm gonna go work out I'm gonna go and do a Barry's there's a Barry's around the corner wherever I go in the world whether it's like LA or Dubai or wherever there's always a Barry's and it just it's like a home comfort and then we can get on with the day I have no idea what I want to do today I'll probably end up vintage shopping or because that's just what I like to do and this is the beauty of solo tripping you literally can do whatever you want the world's 
New York is my oyster right now. Let me just open. Oh, there she is. Stunning. The New York skyline anywhere is actually insane. I love any movies where they're based in New York just because of this. I have realized this about myself. I'm such a city girl. Like I love being in the city. I feel like I'll probably enjoy the countryside more when I'm older, but this right now is everything. I feel like I got so lucky with the weather. It's still really cold, but so sunny. I did locate an adapter. I've had my phone on charge for a little bit, so I don't feel as vulnerable anymore. I'm just walking to go and work out. I've had a coffee. I'm trying to think of what I want to do today. I actually don't know. I feel beautiful. All right, tread. Guess what? Just finished getting ready. This outfit's kind of random, especially with the headscarf, but I was having a really bad hair day. Don't ask, but I just wanted maximum comfort. So I've just layered a couple of coats on. I've got my track pants on and we've got trainers on. Ultimate comfort today because we're gonna do a lot of walking. I think tomorrow is gonna be a bit more of like the touristy stuff. Whereas today I just wanna go shopping. I'm gonna be honest, I wanna go vintage shopping. I'm literally desperate to. One thing I've definitely noticed about New York is everything is so big. Like the buildings, all of them are just a million times bigger than ones in Manchester. I can't get over it. Like I feel a little bit like Thumbelina. I was planning on going to Sedale's for brunch and going and getting a little bagel and like going and sitting down somewhere but I kind of don't want to take up too much time going to eat so I've just stopped at Carver. Um, I had this while I was in LA and I loved it so I've come back mainly for the pizza chips. Sorry. I'm just going to quickly eat this. I'm also trying to be semi healthy because I know tonight I'm gonna eat a lot. This is like <laughs> the health for the unhealth. So far we've not really had much luck on the vintage shopping. So I've asked my friend for some recommendations and she's literally sent me a whole bunch. So I'll put them in the comment section if you guys wanna know as well. I think I've just been in the wrong area. Apparently the Lower East Side, I think it's the Lower East Side and like Chinatown is the best for vintage shopping so that's why we're heading i'm actually going to try and get a taxi day nap and cookies i've literally had about four of these i'm also having a poppy i'm praying that they bring these to the uk because i've had these a couple of times when i've been in america and they're so good they don't feel as unhealthy as a soda i don't think they are so i've walked twenty thousand steps today i feel like i've basically done a lap of new york i know that's nowhere near but I feel so exhausted, so I'm gonna have a little nap and then I'm gonna get ready to go out for dinner and I might, might go to the club. I messed up so bad because it's now half past nine. I was meant to be at dinner at nine o'clock, but I fell asleep at half six and woke up at half eight. Jet lag really got me today, so I've just thrown on an outfit. I've not even been able to do anything with my hair and I even had to top this makeup up. 
So you already know the makeup does not look great. This has been on since like 10 o'clock this morning and I've just had to like touch it up a little. So I'm going to meet my friends downtown for dinner and then I'm debating going out later. This outfit is really not giving. It was a throw on. It is what it is. One thing I've noticed while I've been here is everyone dresses so well. Like... If I had to put my style into a city, it would definitely be New York. Like, I love it. I feel like everyone's in baggy pants. One of the reasons I did choose to come here on my solo trip was because I really wanted some inspo on outfits and things like that. And I'm getting so much. Like, I'm going to come home with a fresh pair of eyes when I go shopping. Yeah, that's why I feel like my outfit tonight isn't quite given yeah we're just on our way downtown i've not got many taxis while i've been in new york because i wanted to try and walk everywhere but this was quite far out so i didn't mind taxiing and i'm in heels oh wait, why is it so zoomed I was on the hunt this morning for a coffee or a matcha that wasn't Starbucks because there's literally a Starbucks on every corner in New York and I found this place called Cha Cha Matcha. Never heard of it before but they do the best matcha I've ever had in my life. This is a coconut honey matcha. I'm gonna have to try and recreate this when I get home. Today is my touristy day. It's not really touristy but there's a couple of things that I want to do. I want to go to the Met. I want to go to Central Park, which is what I'm going to do now. Um, it's a little bit more of a dull day today. I think it's going to rain later, so I'm going to go to Central Park this morning. I've just had a matcha and a croissant for some fuel before my walk. I wasn't starving when I woke up because we ate so much last night. But yeah, I'm excited to see where today takes us. If you know me, you know Home Alone 2 is probably my favourite movie of all time. and. Seeing the plaza makes me so happy. But we're here, we're at Central Park. I'm kind of thinking, do I want to hire a bike? I mean, I don't know whether Chanel's are the appropriate footwear to hire a bike, but they've got some bikes here. So I'm thinking maybe I do a little bike around Central Park. literal ice that was so fun but i definitely should have done that yesterday because it's so much colder today so i've come inside i don't actually know how you say it bergdorf goodman's and this is the best shoe place i've ever been to like it's got the best shoe gallery i have ever been to in my life let me show you i mean look at this they've got every brand of shoe designer shoe you could possibly think of and they've got all of the new season stuff. It's insane, like it's a literal shoe heaven. So they have special showrooms where they'll do like specific, like not specific brands, so they'll like mix the brands, but it's kind of like the aesthetic of the room. So this is all like black, red, white, so cool. I love these shoes. Oh, look at these ones as well. They've got, oh, they've got little toes on. New Yorkers are just so complimentary. Like, if they see a nice outfit, they're gonna compliment you. I've got so many compliments today, but I feel like we don't really get that in the UK. Like, you'll get, like, the odd compliment, but everyone here is just so complimentary. Like, they don't look at you and just, like... You know when you can see someone appreciates your outfit? They'll actually tell you, which I like. I've actually not shown you my outfit today either, so this is what I'm wearing. Um, got this jacket on from Sisters and Zika's which I probably had the most compliments on out of my whole outfit. I've got a top on from Skims and then I've also layered this Dion Lee corset over the top mostly because I'm freezing 
but it actually ended up looking really cute as well. I've got my big baggy jeans on that I got from Miss Pap, which are literally my favourite. Chanel trainers and my Miu Miu bag. Okay, I'm getting some shelter from the rain. I've just come for some lunch. I want some pasta. Or I really want a vodka sauce while I'm here, but I don't know whether this place does it. And there's actually nothing better than warm bread and butter. So I asked the waiter what he recommended. I was really undecided. He said that the bolognese is incredible here, so I'm gonna get a bolognese. Also, what I've realized about these solo trips is I really heal my relationship with food. I feel like I've definitely had a really toxic relationship with food in the past, and I don't know, when you come away, you wanna try all of the foods and like have a New York pizza, have New York tacos. I want to go to Magnolia Bakery and try the banana pudding. Like one of the big parts about going on trips for me is the food. Like I'm such a foodie and I lost that for a little bit because I was so toxic with how I ate. So yeah, I just feel like I'm really healing my relationship with food right now. She's with an umbrella. How cute is this? I was walking past the hotel that's next to the restaurant and the doorman was like, a lady with hair that beautiful shouldn't be walking in the rain and gave me his umbrella. I love the people here. Now I'm walking to the Met. I've decided I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna do it because that was one thing that I really wanted to see while I was here. I've been to New York a few times and I've never actually seen the Met, but obviously it's famous for the Met Gala. It's famous in Gossip Girl, in Sex and the City. It's in all of my favorite programs. Look how gorgeous these streets are though. Imagine living in one of those apartments. Oh my gosh, we finally made it. I joined the queue, but I don't know what we're queuing for, but we're going inside and inside feels good right now. This is insane. I decided again to get tickets for the Met because I'd want to look around properly and it's already like half three and I've got plans for this evening. I've made some plans, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go back to the hotel for a little bit and maybe have a little nap, have a coffee. That's one thing I've never done on my own before. I've never been to like a bar. So this is gonna be very interesting and that's why I kinda need to go back now and save my energy for later. I don't know how I've done it again, but I'm running late for my reservation, so I need to get going soon. But I've just finished getting ready for the night. I'm gonna show you my outfit. That's not really showing you my outfit, is it? The place I'm going to is called the Django. Oh, that was quick. My Uber's outside. Don't know why I had to show you that. Let's go. This is the first time for me. I've never done anything like this before. I'm kind of out of my comfort zone, but I'm kind of loving it at the same time. Number one, this is like a big bucket list thing. Going to an underground jazz bar in New York, doing it on my own and feeling this happy and having a bowl of ice cream, that tops it all off. But I don't know, I'm just having a bit of a surreal moment right now. through half a box of Trader Joe cookies in the past two days. Tomorrow is my last day so I think I'm gonna go to Sedil's in the morning and have a bagel. I can't believe I've been here three days and not had a bagel. But yeah this solo trip has really healed something inside of me that needed healing so I feel like I'm gonna go home with like a clean head and a clear mindset. Anyway I'm gonna go to bed, love you lots and I'll see you in the morning. Just checked out my room. I'm really sad. I am ready to go home. I want to see my mom, especially because it's Mother's Day today. So my flight's not till 8 p.m. So I've got pretty much the whole day. I'm gonna go for breakfast now at Sedell's. Look at how nice today is compared to yesterday. I can't believe yesterday was the day I decided 
to go to Central Park. Cheers! Do the best coffee. Um, LA does the best matcha. New York does the best coffee. I totally see that. Would you like hot water? I feel like go crazy and try something like this. Do it. This is insane. Like the best bagel I've ever had. This little tower got absolutely demolished. Uh -huh. Oh my god. And you said they're blueberry. Yeah, blueberry. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh. They're like fluffy. And crispy. Oh, Maybe the horse.